are on the Italian island and we're coming up on what I call my dream house and it's actually two houses here they're uh, both uh, very similar uh, structure one Swedish guy uh, built both of these and then he sold this one on the right to his friend and he lives in that one there but as you can see how this house is built now they just put all new bamboo on here because before it was a darker brown so this is all new bamboo that they put on here and the bamboo well see you can see on that house there the darker brown that's been on there for 17 years so whatever they did to uh, get it to be bulk bulk proof which I spray mine with diesel fuel and so far that's lasted two years and it works great uh, this here is varnished uh, bamboo on this house here and that's all new stuff but uh, I met this uh, gentleman before and he's really nice uh, he's single and uh, this is his boat ramp by the way he runs his jet ski trailer and stuff up and down here when he wants to and he's got like a little boat and uh, a little uh, 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 truck like a little international or jeep I mean not jeep but some kind of a truck there uh, that he uh, hauls it up and down with he's, he's got crawfish tanks under here uh, all of his showers and stuff. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful beach. Beach house here. Looks like he's home or somebody's home. Again, I hear the TV. These roofs are made out of fiberglass with beach sand embedded in them. And uh, oh, they've, they've, yeah, they've redone the front of this one too. It's just the side. This end part here that's got the old bamboo. Looks like they redid the, the stairs going up and uh beautiful yard back here and they really fixed up underneath there so i'm gonna maybe io the guy see uh if he'll come out but uh, really just really nice work everything that they did is really first class and uh, i'm gonna kind of copy this one so Anyway, I got to, uh, I can't really, we've been walking around on here without you know, permission from him, but uh, I will, uh, in the Philippines, when you stand outside somebody's house, you say, ayo, and that's like anybody home kind of thing, so uh, I'm going to do that, and if he comes out, then I will talk to him and see if I can uh, do a little more video of this place, so. Here we are, uh, that's again uh, Virgin Island, that's uh, Hila Tagaan. And we are at what I call my dream house, not my house. So, you know, when you do comments, don't say, you know, how much did it cost to build your house? Because this ain't my house. Uh, but this guy here, he's from Sweden, and he built just a beautiful, well, I consider it a beautiful house. You've seen it actually in my uh, uh, video about going back in time. But uh, this is the house here. It's like a Tahitian or Bali style home. And he actually built two of these. He built one over there too. Uh, he sold that one to his friend, and then he kept this one. But uh, under here, he built like uh, water tanks, and he uh, grows crawfish there. So apparently, he likes crawfish. And so uh, I'm gonna walk around here. This under here is kind of what I want for under mine. You know, like a patio air area. And uh, if you look. Uh, how that they had and I don't know who he has paint this stuff, but they do really good. This Is PVC pipe they get a heat gun and heat it up and then they squeeze it and it makes this ball It looks like bamboo and so they get somebody <coughs> <coughs> They get somebody to paint this uh, Like bamboo and then of course these columns are cement and as you see here they're painted like bamboo really nice and then the beams here are painted like wood beams see that those are the cement beams and they went so far too as to uh, uh, on the plumbing and the electrical paint it just like bamboo also and uh, then 
and they tiled the floor here, which is what I want. Uh, that staircase there is made uh, again with uh, PVC uh, and uh, wood. This one over here, uh, and he just painted this. He may be treating this, or maybe he's going to stain it or something. But uh, it was that that 17-year-old bamboo there uh, that was just stained, and it's lasted this whole time. Uh, all this other is the uh, PVC trim going around it, so he's kind of uh, dressing it up some. I'll walk back here a little bit and show you kind of the front of the uh, house here. Oh, well, I don't know if this is the front. This is the back, I guess you would call it. But it's, uh, and we're in the banana tree, so it's hard to kind of, well, maybe we can't really get a good shot of it from here maybe I can get into the banana trees and then kind of look up uh, yeah see he's got like a balcony up here and uh, he's uh, had to redo the roof because uh, he blew off with the typhoon and uh, he made it out of hardy flex which is a cement board and fiberglass fiberglass on top of the hardy flex and the same with this one here this one's roof didn't blow off it uh, actually survived uh, and he's, he's done a, a, a lot of uh, you, you know after finding out how you know wood and thing last uh, here uh, he uh, came back with all these new ideas like all of this this is PVC PVC pipe but if you look at it you swear that it was uh, bamboo and all the trim around the uh, sides here you swear that it was bamboo and uh, we're going up the stairs now to the deck uh, here and uh, you can see the front here and this uh, kind of a wing of the it's uh, like a Y shaped it's like a bedroom with uh, you know vaulted ceilings he did have air conditioning in here but uh, he had like a lower ceilings here like flat and he decided to take it out and just let the air uh, from the beach cool the house and he said it does great and so uh, he also has a special tile here that he got from Mactan Island they were uh, making this here in the Philippines uh, and uh, they no longer make it you can't get it anymore nice design work on the ceilings nice kitchen here is a bedroom and again he took the uh, air conditioning out and uh, opened up the ceiling made it real nice vaulted maybe has feels like a much larger room now you can even hear like an echo in there it, it just kind of gives that large sensation and up here is uh, the back. Now, the other house doesn't have that back section, and this one didn't either until he uh, added it on. So it's just this front bedroom, uh, living room area, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom. That's all it was. And then he, there was a, a window here, a window there where that bookshelf is, and a window there behind the water thing. And so he put these bookshelves in the windows and then added to the back here and uh, made like a larger area back here and again this is all opened up to the very top really uh, gives a spacious uh, feeling back here he's got a got a deck around the, the the back really nice wooden doors with the with the wind windows the you know the sliding doors that folding sliding doors and now you overlook the back area here house see uh, again how he uh, did all the bamboo trim really really nice just a beautiful place and the theme continues on to the uh, maintenance man's house you know with the high peaked roofs and even on the garage to a lesser extent carport garage there really really did a beautiful job here go back out and uh, 
if you were here now, you'd feel that breeze, that ocean breeze coming right through here. It just comes right off the o ocean and right through here, and it's really comfortable. So uh, this is what you wake up to in the mornings. Right here. The sun is rising there, so. But just, uh, just a beautiful view. Beautiful house. Really interested in, uh, he did just uh, the own, Hunter explained all the, uh, how he did the construction and, and what the improvements and things were. This is all PVC here too. And you wouldn't think it was at all, but it's just so masterfully done. And, you know, of course this is PVC, it's never going to rot. So it's, it's going to be there for, you know, a lifetime and, you know, retain its colors and, and things perfectly. So with that, I will leave you. And we'll be back with more from My Paradise on the Italian Island. I had a Bye great conversation with the owner of the house, who's actually the, you know, the designer and the builder. And uh, he told me all of his, uh, you know, the construction materials he used, what did work, what didn't work, what he had to redo, you know, you know things like that. So that uh, now, you know, he's got it stable, you know, termites ain't eating stuff up and, and all that. Uh, so uh, as you can see, two houses right here and I guess and they're almost identical he built the the back half of that one lazy there and that's why you see that second kind of a peak there that goes to the the back uh, half that he added on so anyway these I looking like they're identical with the exception that this one doesn't have the back half there so anyway that's it and again this is uh, what he wakes up to every morning so we will uh, be back with more from my paradise on the Italian island. Bye for now. Beautiful beach. Boat ramp. Alright, bye for now.